So this is uh, three days after a varicocele operation. In this patient, uh, we have very, very big veins, varicose veins around the testicle, and uh, we removed them completely. After the procedure, we look for arterial supply of the testis first. It is the most important part because uh, we don't want to disturb the arterial blood supply of the testis, and we are very cautious about this in the operation. Uh, and after the operation, we want to confirm. This is the third day after operation, and the arterial blood supply is very nice in this patient. Next, we look for the uh, varicose veins. This is uh, after the procedure, just three days after the procedure. And before the procedure, there were abundant veins with diameters of 4 millimeters and 3.5 millimeters. And after the, just three days after the operation, all the veins are taken out. And we, we will try to calculate, uh, try to find the most larger, largest vein. I'm checking here. Here is the largest remaining vein. and it's 2.2 millimeters. All the large veins are gone. In Istanbul, like a certain term technique, we take out all the veins. We check for the arteries. The arteries are nicely seen. There are at least four arteries now, I can see. We all check them with our Doppler device in the operation. One, two, three, four arteries. And there are no residual veins. Normally, in conventional operation, this is only possible after the third month of the operation. Uh, but in our technique, it's immediately after the procedure, it is uh, nicely seen that all the veins are gone and now we will look to the wound this is the wound of varicocele just in the third day very nice uh, this will leave behind no scar tissue but there is always some swelling of the testis especially in our technique, which we take out the veins completely, there may be a little more swelling than normal. But the scar tissue is very nice and all the veins have gone completely.